guys uh welcome back this is your boy yeah the link how you guys doing as usual uh support your boy like this video comment share it on all social platform follow me on instagram twitter facebook adam's link and make sure you subscribe then uh click the bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload and also a uh, good morning afternoon evening depending on where you are watching this video from so uh we're going to be discussing uh some crucial issue today and of course you already know what's up it's ukraine versus russia and uh, what actually concerns me is nigerians living in ukraine of course you already know russia invaded ukraine recently and uh we already discussed about this and uh, you can go on twitter you, you see a lot of uh, the havoc you see a lot of uh cries and uh, international body reacting to it so as of today nigeria government just recently uh spoke for the old nigerians that uh we, we have already taken a side nigerians has, has uh, taken a side and we are standing with ukraine of course you might think differently but the government has already taken a side for us and we are standing with ukraine in fact they just recently uh sent ukraine a mess uh, russia message to immediately evacuate their forces from ukraine also south africa president as well has done that well you know uh president of russia putin already said that anyone who come for the aid of uh, ukraine we immediately receive russia wrath. well i don't understand what that means i don't understand what uh, his game plan is if he's going to be fighting the whole war i don't understand that but what i want to really talk about is that as of today poland issued a statement and according to them they are they have agreed to allow well let me read it guys according to sky news they said poland prime minister has confirmed that the polish border is open for all ukrainians even those without a valid ID document. He has even said that they are welcome to bring their pets with them, even those without a valid ID document. So, Ukrainians, and if you are in Ukraine and you do not have any document at all, even if you are stoned away to Ukraine, you pass through illegal means to Ukraine, as long as you are in Ukraine and you want to come to Poland, you are free to enter. Nobody will ask you for papers. Nobody will discriminate you and so on and so forth, including Nigerians who are there to study. Well, the report that we saw, the videos that we saw online shows another different thing. Nigerians are complaining that the Polish people, the Polish uh, police are not allowing Nigerians to cross. In fact, there's a video of a man crying. His Ukraine uh, girlfriend was allowed to cross, pregnant girlfriend, but himself was not allowed to cross. So why would you allow the pregnant woman to cross and the Nigerians not allowed to cross? In fact, that is the whole issue now. And of course, uh, I just want to honestly say this. I'm actually proud. I'm actually proud there uh, with the way our government is handling this. I'm not gonna lie to you because they have been issuing statements and so on. So Nigeria government here in Nigeria immediately uh of course uh called uh, the attention of uh, the uh, uh Polish ambassador to explain why Nigerians were not allowed that to explain why Nigerians are not allowed to pass through their border, knowing fully well that there's a war going on in Ukraine. So if you want to open your border for Ukrainians. Of course, in that statement as well from the president, he said, even if you do not have a valid I document, you are allowed to pass. So the president already gave the order. Then what is wrong with the uh, police or the officers on ground? Follow the president's declaration. Follow the president's order. So check out what uh, the ambassador of uh, Poland to Nigeria uh, has to say about this. 
housing quota from the Ukraine. Everybody receives equal treatment. I can assure you that I have reports that already some Nigerian nationals have indeed crossed the border to Poland. Uh, they have 15 days to, to uh, leave the country or to find other, other conditions uh, for themselves. Everything has been communicated to your embassy in Warsaw. And uh, Nigerian nationals have crossed the border along with other African nationals. So everybody receives equal treatment, I can assure you of that. Even uh, invalid documents allow people to pass. Uh, COVID problems have been lifted. So uh, please, if you can give me the details of those persons who claim that they have been come back, their passport numbers. Here I have charts that I am unable to share with you, but we have every citizen listed, every single person. So if you give me the details, passport number, names, their name, and date of birth, I can check that. So I'm sure that we are taking every possible step. And I know that it is a time of, of worry, of concern, and that people are desperate. But Honestly, that is actually great though. If you know you are having difficulties in Nigeria, in, in Ukraine currently, trying to uh, pass to uh, Poland, please, please just let us know. You can send us your your uh, your passport number and so on because that is uh, uh, your, uh, uh, Poland uh, ambassador to Nigeria. You can send them, then uh, of course the government immediately uh, send them to uh to her and of course uh, they, they will do the needful and allow you to pass the president already issued a statement so it's not as if we should be blaming the president no 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 the head of poland already issued a statement all ukrainians are allowed free entry to poland and also even those without valid documents so it's the issue is not from the president. The issue now is from the officers on ground. Why are they able to check in documents? Why are they able to check in documents? As long as they can scan you and make sure that there's no harmful, uh, harmful uh, things on you, then you are allowed to pass. Then uh, this one is coming from uh, Senator Shea. He said, those who are dying to study abroad, Stay at home and get into federal or state university. It is better to hustle with a asshole than war and racism. Well, this is not the time, man. Eh? People will start making fun of the whole situation because people have actually people students who have been in Ukraine for a long time have even uh, they have started their own life there. They have their own family, ah. Huh? They have their own family and please uh senator shew at times i love what he say well uh, the the joke he usually makes but uh this is not the time to start uh attaching any form of joke in this because people lives are really at stake and uh, we also saw like i've said before nigerian according to okay russia ambassador recently uh reached out to nigeria because a lot of uh, uh complain so russia ambassador to nigeria has assured the federal government that nigeria nigerians won't be harmed during the raging conflict between russia and ukraine the minister of uh, foreign affairs godfrey who meant with the uh, envoy be behind closed door on friday february 24 quoted as saying that the Nigeria is a friendly nation to Russia, an effort will be made to ensure no Nigeria is hurt in the raging war. The minister mentioned that he told the Russian envoy that Nigeria as a country will not condone the violence of the uh, of the territorial integrity of the United Nations member states, a country with which Nigeria has diplomatic relations. This is really the position of the government and also that we have that we have 5,600 Nigerians in Ukraine and we are very concerned about what we are hearing and what we are seeing regarding uh, missiles and bombs about the safety of uh, Nigeria citizens there and also that we would like to be able to evacuate them. It said that this would be communicated to his headquarter and that obviously they consider Nigeria a friendly country. That no Nigeria 
will be targeted. But my question is, okay, how can a bomb, how can a missile detect if Nigerians are in a place filled with Ukraine citizens? Is that possible? Maybe I drop bomb for you and I blast, boom. Then the bomb will select people that will be targeting. Is that so? Is that even possible? Is that even possible, guys? So, if they are saying that uh, Nigeria won't be harmed, I don't understand where that one is coming from. I don't know how that would be possible. Well, you know, this thing is really surprising to me because I do not think 2022 and there will all the diplomatic talk with all the meetings here and there and uh, even if you had, let me completely honest, if you had the soldiers really fighting this, uh, the thing, if you ask them, if they wholeheartedly want to fight, honestly, they will tell you no, they do not want to fight. But, of course, those big, big men in office, uh, making all, drawing all the tables and uh, all the rest, are the one calling the shots. And when they say go, they just go. They don't say nothing is their precedent well we we still have so much to discuss and uh, let me talk about what reno or mockery has to say because everybody has their own different view concerning this whole issue reno mockery is not supporting nigerians always uh putting their nose in africa always putting their nose when it comes to white people's issue According to him, you know, we saw Pastor Suleiman recently laying his hand on a very huge television on Ukraine map and he was praying for Ukraine. And so many other Nigerians as well are currently praying for Ukraine and uh, the peace. So, Rino Mokore said, pray for Ukraine, pray for Ukraine. Ordinarily, a good statement. But... When was the last time you prayed for your own family? When was the last time you prayed for Nigeria? Terrorists have killed over one, 100k Nigerians. How many times did Ukraine do pray for Nigeria? You know, someone would definitely ask, okay, is that the reason why we shouldn't pray for Ukraine because of uh, the kind of statements you are making? Well, the dusty or... Uh, there's still another one, which I'm going to read to you now. So, he also said, Ethiopia and Tagri has been at war. Over 1,000 times the number of people killed in Ukraine have died in that war. How many black Africans started pray for Ethiopia? How many even noticed? But now, Europeans... Are fighting each other you have torn prayer warrior honestly i never noticed ethiopia and i uh, was fighting with uh some some country called tigri honestly i don't even know about tigri i will not come here to be acting as if i know i don't i don't i do not even know about tigri i know about ethiopia as a country but i don't even know they are fighting another country so as uh, someone said a lot of nigerians study and work there so is okay if they say a prayer for Ukraine. Then uh, this was uh, Rino Mokere respond. They say, I have been to Ethiopia 15 times, not just the capital, the interior village. Dangote has a cement factory in the Oromia region of Ethiopia. Nigerians work at, the, at that factory. It was captured by Tigray forces. More Nigerian lives in Ethiopia than in Ukraine. But since Ethiopia are black, you won't notice. You focus and you focus your attention in your, your, fo your focus, sorry, your focus and attention is for the white people, not for your own kind. This is so typical of our people. If it is white, it is right. If it is black, put it at the back. And tomorrow you will say Black Lives Matter. How are you showing that it matter by your action? Well, a lot of things he said is actually right, though. 
honestly, even though we try to like uh, apply just uh, uh, blindfold our eyes to read, really, really right though. But my concern now is uh, Nigerians. Nigerians in Ukraine trying to cross to Poland, please. So there is this uh, Nigeria born singer currently in Ukraine as well. He said, at this point, the Nigeria government should shun empty promises and actually evacuate us. Poland is near and their airport is functioning. So why can't Nigeria government reach out to the Polish government? I be the embassy for Poland, Najuk. Nigeria parents with kids are freezing to death outside the border of Poland. When will Nigeria government even take things serious? People trekking f up for up to four hours to get to the Poland border, only to be sent back because Nigeria government never informed the authorities we need a government that cares for its citizens. Everyone is panicky. Evacuate us to Poland now. Well, uh, if you can notice, Nigeria government is working tirelessly to immediately do that. Honestly, I will be completely honest. I'm so, so, so happy with the way Nigeria government is handling this. This, honestly. But although they never see, nobody ever thought that Russia would go into Ukraine. You know, people were just contemplating all those kind of stuff. But they never thought. So I will just give that as a benefit of doubt to Nigeria government. But now I believe they are working tirelessly. With uh, the, po the Poland uh, ambassador being uh, invited, and uh, she has to say that, okay, you need to give me the document of those who have who, who, who were sent back. You know, all those kind of things show that they are actually, actually trying to do something. And also, uh, this lady said, Nigerians have trekked for hours to the border of Poland. They are not letting Africa in. The parents are freak are, are freezing out in the sorry, the parents are freaking out in the WhatsApp group. They said their kids were tired and cold. They trekked for 14 kilometers to the border only for them to not be allowed. Some of them have started going back to uh cave again. I won't say I won't say if it's about racism or not, but the parents are claiming the Nigeria embassy in Poland should have informed the government there so they can approve the arrival of Nigeria because they are taking Ukrainians in and I think India's too because the India embassy in Poland said so. Well, they have said it now, so let's wait till tomorrow or for the next uh, few hours and uh, let us see hear the report of uh, what is going on there. And meanwhile, uh, I think uh, the Nigeria government recently also uh, released uh, a, a statement regarding that. So, sorry, let me just read it out. It said that public notice from the Nigeria embassy in Poland. In light of the recent happening in Ukraine, please be advised that all Nigerians crossing over to Poland would have staff of the Nigeria embassy waiting for them. The federal government of Nigeria is making necessary arrangements for the evacuation of those stranded in Ukraine through the embassy in uh, Warsaw, Poland. Please present this as your destination address with the border control. So they gave some few numbers there. The Nigeria embassy staff along with volunteers will be at the Polish-Ukraine borders with boxes and vans to pick up Nigerians from the crossing border point and location below. So the locations are there. Please share this information with all Nigerians to so immediately uh, get this and uh, try to assist themselves with. Well, that's just it for now. No, we're still definitely going to be uh, continue talking about it. And uh, let's uh, move past this uh, old uh, Russia and uh, um ukraine nigeria matter we just pray that everything goes well we pray everything goes well guys so very surprising guys uh president muhabitu Bari has finally signed the electoral bill <laughs> of course most of you might not understand what that bill stands for so president Buari finally signed electoral act amendment bill into law the bill which was signed at 
a ceremony which led, which was held at the Federal Executive Council FEC chambers in the presidential villa provides for electro, uh, electronic transmission of election results. Recall that Buhari had initially rejected the bill after the National Assembly made direct primary comp uh, compulsory for politician parties in the country. The president said the provision violates the spirit of democracy. However, the Senate and the House of Representatives re uh, reworked the bill to provide for indirect and direct primaries. Parties are now as liberty to use any of these theory uh, aforementioned options to elect their candidate for any election that will be organized by the Independent National Electoral Commission. So let me let me just uh, explain this for the best way I understand it. No, it's like this: whatever someone votes, huh? it immediately read it and it will count. On the screen, one vote. If other person votes, you count. Second vote. If other person votes, you count third, third vote on the screen. So you'll be so hoping that we at home will be seeing how the votes are counted. So before even high neck, yeah, high neck officially announce the winner, we Nigerians staying at home, we already know who is going to win because we are seeing the live voting. It's not before we just depend on INEC alone to conduct the election and also pass the result to us without us seeing what they are passing or seeing if it is credible or not. Well, I'm so so happy about this. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I'm so 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 happy that uh, President Mark Barry has finally signed this. And uh, there's one person as well who is very, very happy about this, and uh, it's one of President Mohamed Bari critics. Not criticizing him, uh, him in a bad way, though, but uh, just want him to improve, and that is uh, Asha Yusuf. What did you say I did here? Hey, how my do that happen? I think President don't, don't sign the electoral bill. Hey, oh yeah, President, chop, no, could chop, no, could chop. You know, hey. You know, supposed to know they were what finish. If they get out, they go do better thing. Be like our president, don't, don't finally do that better thing. Hey, Omo! Oh my goodness! President, Abba! Now I say you want to sit down, do all your eight years, not do anything for at least. After they go, they go remember, say, Muhammad Dubai, the president Muhammad Dubai, do something. He signed the electoral bill into law. Oh my goodness, Nigerians, congratulations for staying on this. Are you? Ah! Are you? I don't even know. Thank you. Yemi, Yaga, Yai, all of you. Short, I, I can't even. Samsi, Todo. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I don't even have the word. I can't even find the names. I'm not saying names shall not be my strong favorite. I'm just saying to all of you, thank you for staying on. For all the Nigerians that worked on it, you guys never gave up for years. You kept working on this. Thank you. National Assembly, well done. Presido, well done. Where you do well, we go tell you well done. Where you do anyhow. You go see anyhow, but you do better. See, you go tell oh, 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 Go and get your PVC. Get five people to get their PVCs. Help those five people get help uh, get their own five people to register and get their PVCs. Let us organize or be part of PVC registration drives in our community. Get people to register. And finally, we vote with sense. Hey, this is what for citizens and artists talking about. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Ah, you know, many people say this will not happen. Hey, the president will not say it is. You know, it is easier to say things will happen. It is much harder to say it will happen and you keep going and you never stop and you work for it. What? Now, most of you might not understand what, uh, what has happened, though, honestly. So now you do not have... Uh, the option to say, ah, my vote won't count. Your vote won't count this time. 2023 election, eh, it will surprise a lot of people. <laughs> now, politicians will be so much afraid of you. Not afraid of their opponent. No, 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 no. They won't be afraid of their opponent. They will be afraid of you because you have the right to vote. No one will cancel this one. Well, go and get your PVC.
I have my PBC. I'm definitely voting. I'm definitely voting, guys. I have my PBC and we vote. So go and get yours. Stop making excuses for nothing. Just go there, get yours, guys. And uh, I think that will be all for this video. Thank you very much for watching the boy Adam Slink. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Catch you next time. Peace.